hello friends so from my previous video now you know how we can separate a variable files in different folders so that we can manage them easily and you can see that uh, we have separate folders which is basically called rules called defaults and wars and we have different files in in these folders like default contains default variables which is about which are those variables uh, which does not change frequently like v server information host name etc and then we have another folder where we have different variables like credentials um, and the volume name etc like we have filer credentials in credential file and then volume name in the volume file so you can see that um, and then volume dot eml which is our main playbook which we run and we ask in this playbook that include these variable files and and create the volume for us so you you know that uh, we have this function already available right now which is called role but uh, the problem arises that we still have a password in human readable format which definitely is not a good idea so in this video we are going to learn how we can uh, encrypt this file called credentials.yml or this could be even any file how we can encrypt a file so that it's not in a human readable format and we can pass it in the playbook so and playbook still can go ahead and perform the task of creating these two volumes in order to do that ansible gives us a very beautiful uh, tool called ansible vault um, so ansible vault basically encrypt uh, the file in aes256 format and uh, uh, after encryption that file is not uh, in a human readable format and only can be read by the ansible playbook so that file looks something like this so in this video i will give you a very uh, broad overview uh, i will uh, just touch some of the main features of ansible vault but if you want to know more about ansible vault i would i would encourage you to go ahead and read about ansible vault in ansible documentation so uh, we will see how we can create how we can encrypt this file to encrypt this file you need to use ansible dash vault encrypt words credential this is the file what we want to encrypt it will ask me for a password which is a password for encrypted file so if you now if you will try to read this file you cannot read this because it is encrypted in aes256 format now let's see how we can use this file to run our playbook and before i do that let me see if there is any um, volume so you can see there is no volume called ansible in our svm or in our simulator and we are going to create new volume called ansible wall 0 ansible wall 2 and ansible wall 3 to do that i will run a playbook and ansible dash playbook and the playbook name is volume yaml and to ask playbook that it use um excuse me okay so the vault id is the keyword what we need to use uh, so that it will prompt us to ask for the password so now it should ask me for the password which is a password for encrypted file and now it should create those two volumes so we can see that it has created the volume and if i will do vault show one more time yes we can see the volumes are there 
now definitely when we are talking about uh, automation so uh, we cannot enter password manually every time and that's not what we want so ansible also gives us another way to do this that password what we have given to encrypt the file in credential.yml that's that password we can save somewhere and uh, wherever we save that uh, we we will use that file uh, to call the encrypted file so let me see how we can do that in order to do that you need to save the password uh, which in my case is password 123 that was the password for the encrypted file and I'm going to save it and in password.txt at the same location where my main playbook is located volume.yml so now you can see I have volume.yml here and you can see I have password.txt file also here. So you, you need to use uh, another keyword for that and uh, you need to use basically uh, uh, the you need to uh, pass the file name here which will say what is the file name which you want to use. So basically what password file you need to use that using the, the vault id so uh, our password file is password.txt and the vault id in the vault id will say it will be password.txt and the playbook what we want to run is volume.yml in this case it should not ask me for a password it should not prompt me for a password rather it should take the password from this file and this file has an encrypted password for credential.yml so it should execute that playbook easily and uh, the playbook task should create the volume for us so okay it is not creating because the volume already exists here let me just offline these volumes quickly for you guys and then volume 3 let me also delete this let me also delete the volume 3 and now we will try to run the playbook one more time and it should create a volume for us yeah so it has created the volume for us and using the password.txt file and um, you can see volumes are here now that is perfect that's what we want uh, now the question arises: how about the security of this file password.txt so there are uh, uh, though this file password.txt is I know is still in open format and anybody can read that and anybody uh, has uh, access to this file if, if we don't uh, change the permissions of this file so there are couple of ways to do that either you can have a Python program where you can read uh, you can hide this file and using that python program you can pass this file the another way uh, is uh, is something like you can change uh, the permission of this file so for example i have this permission right now where it is open in readable format to other users and the group and i don't want I want to limit it to myself being an administrator storage administrator so I can simply change it to let's say 600 and then password.txt so now I have this file in a format where only I can read it or I can change anything in this file and though others can use it or uh, they can use it but they cannot change it 
okay so they cannot read the content and definitely they don't need to read the content they just simply need to, to use it so so this is one of the way how you can uh, use it probably you can have it with the execute uh, execute um, permissions for others uh, for a group so you can ha have it i mean like it's it's up to you how you want to hide this file how you want to keep it in a way there are multiple ways to do that but yeah this is one of the way how we can uh, save passwords using the vault functionality of ansible and uh, this will help us uh, to secure some cr uh, critical information especially when you are in the uh, in in large environment not even large environment i mean like these files are critical for any kind of environment so so just uh, you need to I, I would suggest just go ahead and read about this documentation of, on Ansible Vault and it will give you more idea. So just uh, keep learning, keep sharing and uh, also don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.